Hello everyone, welcome to 3DDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the initial setup for the Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe project. Okay, so like all the other exterior projects, uh, I am going to start with the cube. So under surfaces, I'm just going to grab the cube tool like this, and I'm just going to snap on the grid like this. And I'm just going to make sure that I move the pivot here and I'm going to move it up the grid so that it's aligned up to the X axis. Okay, so now that's done. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the information window and enter the dimensions on the scale. Now the reason why it's uh, done this way uh, instead of uh, translating or doing a curve is that because it's the scale, basically uh, if I just uh, turn to one, basically it re represents one mil. So if it's 100 or let's say a car size, let's say about 5,000, basically that is going to give us a representation of a 5,000 mil length of car. So let's grab the dimensions for this uh, particular vehicle, the E-Class Coupe, and it looks like the length is 4844. So I'm going to say 4844 for the X-axis and looks like the width is 1860 without the mirror. So I'm going to enter that for Y. And for the last dimension, which is the height, it looks like it's 1432. Uh, so I'm going to enter that in the last box over here. So we got the, basically the size for the vehicle. And now let's go ahead and place it so that it's not uh, so that it's centered so i'm just going to snap it over here i'm going to move to the grid uh, over here and i'm just going to center it to the grid this way also okay so i think that the positioning is good and now let's go ahead and import some canvases so that we can size it all right so i'm going to start off from the side view I'm going to say F6 for the side view, and I'm going to say import canvas image options box. And you always want to make sure that this is on. To be honest, I wish that this was on by default, but it's not. So I'm going to do that. Otherwise, you are going to get multiple stacking canvases and you cannot redo it. So let's to make sure the checkbox is on and I'm going to say go. And I'm going to start with the side view like this. Okay, so it looks like it's a little too big. So I'm going to turn the transparency down and scale it. So I'm gonna say canvases, I'm gonna say maybe 0.2. I think that should be good. And let's go ahead and just scale it down like this. And you can, all, uh, you can also move the pivot on the canvas also. So you can just snap it using uh, Control-Alt or the curve snap. I'm gonna just place it over here like this. And I'm just gonna scale it down like this. Okay, so it looks like the length is matching, uh, but the height is uh, might be a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is, well, first of all, let's just scale it like that. And I might just, well, move it down a little bit because I think the ground plane can be moved down like this. And I think that's pretty close. Maybe I'll just scale it a little bit more so that it fits within the box. And I think I'm just going to move it like that. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Uh, it's not perfect, but at least it gives us a decent uh, proportion and size for the canvas. And for the side view, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it and move in the Y axis so that it's a little bit to the side because I'm going to model, um, basically doing the model uh, in the, within the box, uh, I don't want this. To, uh, I prefer the canvases to stay out of the way. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to create a layer and put these in a layer. And I'm just going to say state reference. Uh, and let's see, I'm going to say, I'm just going to say ref for reference. And let's go ahead and put the top view in. So again, I'm going to say import canvas image. Now this option box is checked on, so you don't have to worry about that now. I'm going to import the top view like this. And again, I'm just going to, well, actually for this one, I am going to just make sure that it's centered. And let's go ahead and move it this way. We'll pivot. Okay, I think I can snap it there. 
Right, so I'm going to snap to the middle, the center grid or the X axis. And let's move it a little bit forward like that. And let's go ahead and scale it. Okay, so you're just using scale. I'm going to just make sure that it fits within the box. And let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I don't know which part this is supposed to be, but I'm wondering if it's cut off. Okay, well, at least uh, the vehicle seems to fit. Um, uh, actually, I, I think I'm just going to do a little bit more. Okay, so everything fits reasonably enough. Well, I, I think I can go back. Okay, so I would say that's good. And let's go ahead and make sure everything is nicely placed. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay. So for this one, because it's already on the floor, I don't think you, oh, well, actually I'm, I am going to move it down a little bit like this. Okay. So everything is good. And I'm just going to make sure that the set state is set to reference like this. And let's go ahead and create a new layer for the front. So I'm just going to go to a rear view like this. And I'm going to say front. I'm going to grab the canvas image. So this time front view like this. And again, I'm just going to make sure that I place it right at the center like this. Well, I think the star is definitely lined up. So I think this is pretty good. And I'm just going to scale it. And let's just move it up. Actually, you know what? Let me just move the pivot down here. And I'm just going to move it down using my right mouse button so that it snaps right here. I'm going to align to this point to the ground. I'm just going to scale it down until every the image is within the box. Okay, so I think this one fits a little bit better than the others. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so the front view is actually going to go to the rear because when I'm working on the front from the front view uh, so, um, so that the canvas doesn't cover up the image. So I'm just going to put it there. And again, same thing, set state, it's going to be reference. All right, so I'm just going to turn that off for now so that we can do the rear. So I'm going to go back to the rear view by pressing F7. And let's create a new layer and I'm going to call this one rear. Okay, let's go ahead and import. It's going to be canvas image, same thing. And let's grab the rear view canvas like this. And let's just move it down over here. Looks like it's nice and centered, uh, especially if you're compared to the emblem. So I don't think we need to do anything further than that. I'm just going to move it down over here. And I'm just going to snap it right here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and center it. And I'm going to snap it to the grid snap it to the ground plane and let me just scale it down like this okay i think this one is fitting well too everything looks pretty good and i think that's done all right so for this one what i'm going to do is instead of the back because i'm going to working on the uh if i'm working on the back side i'm going to looking at the model from this view I'm just going to move it forward like this and I'm going to place it in the rear. And again, this is going to be set state and I'm going to say reference so that I don't accidentally move the canvas while modeling. Okay, so I think that is pretty much done, uh, at least the initial setup. So that we got four canvas images and we got the, the top view, the, uh, the side view, the front and the rear. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is before we finish up this lesson, I'm going to go to preferences and look at the construction options. Okay, so for uh, for my tolerances, what I'm doing is I'm going to have a continuity of 0 0.01 for G0, normal angle or tangent of 0.1 and curvature continuity tolerance of 0.1. So those are going to be my tol uh, main tolerances. Now for the rational flags, you can turn them on or turn them off. Doesn't usually most of the times it doesn't uh, affect it, but um, I, because I'm going to create a wheel flat later on, I think I'm just going to turn it off for now. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good, and that's it for lesson one. Okay, so that's it for part one. Uh, we will continue uh, in the next lesson and actually start building some surfaces. 
So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.